Ah, ha, ha, ha. They didn't even mention the no headphone jack. Now that is funny. I'm sorry for not uploading a video the past four days. I actually came down with a little sickness. I'm better now, as you can see, and my voice is back to normal, and I'll be uploading daily from here on out. But wow, the OnePlus 6T was announced today, and we gotta cover that. We gotta cover my reaction. Shout out to Marquez Brownlee or MKBHG because he was actually used in the OnePlus keynote, a little clip of him saying how the OnePlus experience, how the OnePlus's speed beats the Pixel. That little clip was actually used in the keynote. YouTubers no doubt have an effect on public tech companies, and you could just see it right there. In the beginning of the young company OnePlus, I was kind of questioning the OnePlus's strategy. I didn't like them as a company overall, especially since their OnePlus 5 looked like the iPhone 7 Plus, almost identical. Their whole motto of never settle and the insane speed, even though it's the same Snapdragon processor as every other smartphone, those little slogans are gimmicky, but they do work because there's an insane community around OnePlus and I praise OnePlus for their budget pricing with a flagship phone. If you look at the OnePlus 6T at a certain angle, it actually got $20 cheaper than the OnePlus 6 and it's still got some insane added features in display fingerprint reader a new water drop notch a bigger battery and well I can see how oneplus saved some money on removing the headphone jack it will be dearly missed I just highlighted some quick features of the oneplus 6t over the oneplus 6 and let's get more in depth on that and the first one is the brand new water drop notch and not only did oneplus reduce the notch they also reduced the chin and like what's the point of having a notch if you're going to have a chin and now finally it looks a little slim Overall, it's a 6.4 inch AMOLED display, around 400 pixels per inch, all those nerdy stats. But for the price of this phone at $550, that is a really good deal. 6.4 inch AMOLED display with that notch? Looks good. The software that's gonna ship with the OnePlus 6T is going to be Oxygen OS, but now with Oxygen OS, it's going to support full screen gestures. So similar to the iPhone 10 and iPhone 10s, it's gonna be just like that. It's just my personal taste, but I think gestures are better than that virtual button on the bottom of an Android phone. So one change from the OnePlus 6 to the OnePlus 6T is of course the reduced body to screen ratio, which we're all about these past two years. It's about putting a notch and getting the reducing the best. And if you take a look at OnePlus's last four iterations, starting with the OnePlus 5 all the way to the OnePlus 6T, you clearly see the market trend, clearly. Don't get me wrong, it's a market trend for a reason because we love bezel-less displays. I mean, it's just edge to edge. How can you not love that? Although one side effect of having the edge to edge display is that there's no more physical home button. And what was housed in the physical home button? That fingerprint sensor, which is now moved to the back, but now it's moving back into the display. OnePlus was a little stinky there saying that it's the first ever US smartphone with the in display fingerprint sensor. Well, it, it kinda is. OnePlus isn't the first phone to have an in-display fingerprint sensor. We have like the Mazu 16, the Vivo Next, but you've never heard of those because those are only in the Asian market. So you're gonna hear about the OnePlus 6T fingerprint sensor and you're gonna be like, oh wow, that's awesome. Is that type of screen unlock technology useful? Well, I mean, at least OnePlus is making it fast. They're making it 0.34 seconds fast, which is pretty fast. And you know OnePlus is all about the speed you need. Another change from the OnePlus 6 to the OnePlus 6T is now that the OnePlus 6T is going to have a 23% bigger battery from 3,300 milliamps found on the OnePlus 6 to 3,700 milliamps now found on the brand new OnePlus 6T. That's all the major changes that were added to the OnePlus 6T, but the major changes that was a takeaway was the headphone jack, but you know, OnePlus does have the headphone jack adapter to USB-C. They also have wireless headphones Headphones, the bullets wireless they also have type C wired headphones there is some options out there but you know some people who aren't on wireless or can't afford wireless are really gonna miss that headphone jack the OnePlus 6T is going to be the first ever OnePlus phone that's gonna be supported by a US carrier, and the US carrier that's gonna support OnePlus is T-Mobile. So starting next week in November, you can go to T-Mobile and pick up a OnePlus 6T. Kind of shocking. 
But the OnePlus 6T and the OnePlus 6 are getting a nice new night shot mode called Nightscape. And this is kind of like a longer exposure, nice HDR, kind of HDR plus. All these smartphone cameras know that a smartphone's weakness is nighttime photography because of that small, small sensor. So what they're doing is trying to get that long exposure to get the perfect photo. Overall, I'm very pleased with the OnePlus 6T. There's not much to complain about. The price is really good, although it still doesn't have any official waterproof rating. It doesn't have wireless charging, even though it has a glass back. It doesn't come in any other color than black off the start. Only black has a color? Why not offer some more options? There are some flaws with the OnePlus 6T, but for $550, the value you're getting, that big battery life, the Snapdragon 845 processor, that big 6.4 inch display, a good camera, all of that right there for a price of $550 and a starting storage variant at $128, that's a good deal. I'm on board with the OnePlus 6T, but tomorrow I'm turning my head to the brand new Apple iPad Kino. I'm very excited for that. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. It helps me out so much, and I will see you tomorrow for the latest and greatest. <laughs> Sorry, my sickness isn't completely over yet.